Every word we utter, with every action we take, we know our kids are watching us. We as parents are their most important role models. And let me tell you, Barack and I take that same approach to our jobs as President and First Lady because we know that our words and actions matter, not just to our girls, but the children across this country. Kids, kids who tell us, I saw you on TV, I wrote a report on you for school. <laughs> kids like the little black boy who looked up at my husband, his eyes wide with hope, and he wondered, is my hair like yours? And make no mistake about it, this November when we go to the polls, that is what we're deciding. Not Democrat or Republican, not left or right. No, in this election and every election is about who will have the power to shape our children for the next four or eight years of their lives. And I, I am here tonight because in this election, there is only one person who I trust with that responsibility. Only one person who I believe is truly qualified to be President of the United States, and that is our friend Hillary Clinton. Hillary to lead this country because I've seen her lifelong devotion to our nation's children. Not just her own daughter, who she has raised to perfection, but, but every child who needs a champion. Kids who take the long way to school to avoid the gangs. Kids who wonder how they'll ever afford college. Kids whose parents don't speak a word of English but dream of a better life. Kids who look to us to determine who and what they can be. You see, Hillary has spent decades doing the relentless, thankless work to actually make a difference in their lives. Advocating for kids with disabilities as a young lawyer, fighting for children's health care as first lady, and for quality child care in the Senate. And when she didn't win the nomination eight years ago, she didn't get angry or disillusioned. She, Hillary did not, Hillary did not pack up and go home. Because as a true public servant, Hillary knows that this is so much bigger than her own desires and disappointments. So she proudly stepped up to serve our country once again as Secretary of State, traveling the globe to keep our kids safe. And look, there were plenty of moments when Hillary could have decided that this work was too hard that the price of public service was too high, that she was tired of being picked apart for how she looks or how she talks or even how she laughs. But here's the thing. What I admire most about Hillary is that she never buckles under pressure. She, she never takes the easy way out. And Hillary Clinton has never quit on anything in her life. And when I think about the kind of president that I want for my girls and all our children, that's what I want. I want someone with the proven strength to persevere. Someone who knows this job and takes it seriously. Someone who understands that the issues a president faces are not black and white and cannot be boiled down to 140 characters. Look, because... Because when, when you have 
the nuclear codes at your fingertips and the military in your command. You can't make snap decisions. You, you can't have a thin skin or a tendency to lash out. You need to be steady and measured and well-informed. I want a president with a record of public service, someone whose life's work shows our children that we don't chase fame and fortune for ourselves. We fight to give everyone a chance to succeed. And, and we give back even when we're struggling ourselves because we know that there is always someone worse off. And there, but for the grace of God, go I. I want a president who will teach our children that everyone in this country matters. A president who truly believes in the vision that our founders put forth all those years ago, that we are all created equal, each a beloved part of the great American story. And when crisis hits, we don't turn against each other. No, we, we listen to each other. We lean on each other because we are always stronger together. And I am here tonight because I know that that is the kind of president that Hillary Clinton will be. And that's why in this election, I'm with her.